This bombshell beauty right here can ride like a wind. She got one more to go. Hey guys, welcome to Barrel Racer Life. My name is Maddie Stoltman. So I have driven all over God's green earth this past week, it feels like, uh, but got to get, head to a few rodeos, um, one in Idaho and then um, stopped over in Oregon and, and then headed on home. Uh, and then I had a really lazy Saturday and I was really happy I did because driving all over by yourself in late nights is tiring. <laughs> it's like, I feel like maybe I'm getting old, I don't know. Um, but anyways, it was a lot of fun. I'm gonna show you guys about my little trip over to Idaho and a couple rodeo stops on the way. So I'm following the directions to this rodeo and Check them a few times because we drive through like a development site. Um, it's like it's like a golf course and then like housing development. It's all like a big subdivision, which seems really weird, but we're still following through the distance. So. You think you're pretty cool up there, don't you? I uh, just went and checked out the arena, paid my fees. Um, they have slack only tonight, but they're calling it like a special section because there's a whole rough stock event and stuff like that too. Um, barrels are very last. It starts at 7.30. I don't think I'm going to run till like 10.30 tonight, so it's going to be a bit late. Um, but yeah, we're here. Got the horses out of the trailer, watered, and now we'll just hang out for a while. Tuna got to come this time, right? Tuna. Yeah, it's not supposed to be too hot for the next few days, so I figured she could come along. Yeah. Well, it is 10 p.m. and I'm going to go get on my horse now. They're almost ready to start the barrels. I am very last out, so I have a little bit, but uh, it looks like a nice arena, um, good sized, looks like a full standard pattern. Um, I'm looking forward to getting to run, it's gonna be awesome. Well, we got in pretty late last night. Um, I left after the perf, um, we, or after the slack, I suppose. We were last out in the slack, so we ran at like 11.30 p.m. Um, I got my horse dealt with quite quickly, made sure everybody had water, uh, loaded up the trailer and headed on and came to um, a friend of Cody's. Him and his wife were nice enough to put me up with my horses for a few days. Uh, so they live about an hour and 20 minutes or so from where I was last night, uh, but closer towards where I need to be uh, tomorrow. So I opted to come here. Um, I knew it was going to rain. I didn't want to have to set up pins and then have to deal with them in the rain for one and for two. Um, I only have enough panels for two horses, which is ironic because we sell panels, but I've got more coming. <laughs> anyway, came here last night, got here um, about 20 after one and got the horses set up, crawled into bed at about 2 a.m. And whew, I was tired. So it poured rain here all night. I'm so grateful that my horses have some pens. Um, and 
it's, yeah, it's wet. I was hoping to get to ride some horses today, which is why I brought so many with me since I was going to be gone for a couple days. Um, but it is a mud pit around here, so I might not get to ride anything. Um, but whatever. That's life. I was really happy with Claude last night. He did awesome. Um, it was a side gate and we were the very last one out. So we were the only ones sitting in the, the kind of waiting area by the gate at the end. Um, he went in like a boss, tried really hard. We had a little slip at the second barrel and then the third barrel we tipped and it was just not even his fault. We just needed to go a little further up in there. And our time was kind of slow. We would have been in 18.4, um, which... I mean, rodeo ground, but still, um, he really quit running home on me and I was kind of disappointed, but at the same time when I kind of reflected on it and I went, oh, well, it was like 1130 at night and we drove six hours to get there. So he could have been tired. Um, I'm hoping that having this kind of rest day in between before our next rodeo tomorrow will be good for him. Um, I think the hardest thing about all this stuff is the traveling and I have to remember that sometimes. So, um, I really can't blame him. He did awesome. I'm really happy with him. He cranked all the barrels. He's just, he did great. So, um, no complaints on my end. It just wasn't our turn to win. So let's hope that union tomorrow, we're going to throw our hand in there and make ourselves some money. Oh my gosh, Claudia, you're so dirty. <laughs> Made a new friend. Hi, kitty, kitty. My muddy horse and I. Got a nice spot to ride in today. They're not quite finished their arena here, but it is beautiful. We're just gonna have a little light ride, stretch our legs, and then I can ride the girls. I did a loop through the rodeo uh, parking area, I guess you could call it, and it was completely full, so we ended up parking on the road. Uh, thankfully, the people who own this property were very nice, and I was not the only one who needed to park on the road from the looks of it. <laughs> Hi, girls. All right. Uh, slack after the rodeo performance so it's 8 30 p.m they're about done with the other events barrels start and uh, we are number 31 so quad is full of beans we're just walking laps on the track and uh, get warmed up here pretty quick Seventeen seventy two. All done here at Union, Oregon. Just in time for it to get raining, so we finished at a good time. Claude did awesome. I'm so happy with our run. He's a seventeen seventy two. Um, as of right now, that would be placing us, and that's super cool. I'm not gonna get too excited because there's still a couple performances left. So it got pretty freaking tough, but. Um, whether we place or not, we're pretty up, close up in there. So a 17.3 is leading it. We were 17.7. Um, I'm so, so happy with him. He did awesome. So that felt more like my horse. He felt like he tried hard today and that was, felt more like him. So I'm really happy with that. Um, it is 20 after 10. Just loaded the horses up. We are going to head out of here um, and go to my friends in Hermiston tonight. So like an hour and a bit. Um, so a little bit of a drive still, but uh, it's not too, too late, thankfully. Um, so happy with that. Good note to end our couple rodeos on. And uh, yeah, off we go to the next one. What do you think, Miss Road Warrior? You're the best girl. <laughs> So I'm over the moon excited for a few things. Um, this is a really, really big deal. First, Claude and I made our first pro rodeo check. 
So we ended up picking up the last hole check at Union, Oregon. I am so freaking excited. It was a tough rodeo. Um, and the other cool thing is that my friend Lisa, who is another fellow Canadian, uh, she actually won the rodeo. So Lisa won the rodeo at uh, Union and then Claude and I were tied for ninth and 10th place. Uh, so I'm super stoked. Just a small piece of the pie, but uh, no complaints. I mean, who knew that you could be so excited over $193, but I'm over the moon. <laughs> so it feels like this is just the beginning. We had a great run there. Claude worked awesome. Super, super stoked about that. And then I'm also really excited because I got the clear for Jada to go back to run in barrels. So you guys know my little gray mare Jada. She has been off for forever, it feels like. My last run I made on her was September of 2019. So it's been a long time. Um, she feels really strong. She looks amazing. And uh, my vet gave her the all clear that she's healthy, strong, and both of her hind legs look great, uh, which is really good news. So I'm going to start working the barrels on her a little bit at home um, and then hopefully get to take her to just some barrel races soon. Um, I know that she's excited to go. I walk her through the barrels um, after our workouts and I can just feel her that she's just super stoked. So oh, I'm so excited. So it was a really great week. Um, lots of good things going on. This coming week, your girl is actually going on a little vacation. So I'm actually going to take a week off, off of barrel racer life. So there will be no episode next Tuesday. No need to panic. I've got plenty of barrel racing coming up and it's going to be freaking busy for the rest of June and into July. Um, so I'm going to just take a break before things get super wild um, and have a little vacay. So thank you guys. I always appreciate your support and thank you as always for watching um, and thank you for coming along for the journey. Some wins, some losses, some knocked barrels and some really good news. So I always appreciate you guys and I'm still trying to get to that goal of 10,000 subscribers. So if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do. And don't be afraid to take a friend, share this with a friend, whatever you'd like to do. Um, help your girl get to 10k. So thank you guys. I always appreciate you and I'll see you in in two weeks.